How many people have I killed? Quite a few. Most of them children. 95% chance. Is he dead? He is. Okay, brilliant. Now, who's your heir? My wife. Shocking. Murder is a powerful tool in CK3, which got me thinking. Is it possible to unify England without declaring a single war? The theory is there. Marry into a nearby kingdom and then murder everyone until the throne sort of lands in your lap. I want you to comment right now if you think I actually managed to achieve this, and then we can laugh at all the people who are wrong. Whilst you're down there, you might as well subscribe. All right, lads, the plan today is simple. We're going to take Cornwall, the smallest English kingdom, ish, and we're going to conquer England without declaring a single war because I'm a fan of sitting in this chair for hours at a time, apparently. I'm not going to create a new ruler. So this could go very poorly. How do we start? Seventeen intrigue. Well, that's that is good. We're gonna save the game here. <laughs> two intrigue. I like I like having seventeen intrigue. That is really lucky. Better than the two we started with. Uh, we also start with a cool artifact, Excalibur. That's nice. Can we not wield it? Okay, it's a shame. All right, we start with a child. That's good. Uh, let's get ourselves married into Alfred's line. He doesn't have any kids, does he? That doesn't seem much I can marry into on this side of things. What about you and East Anglia? Do I have a large enough family? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to spend the first sort of year or two years just trying to get as many kids as possible. I might be able to marry into the Danish line of things. Oh, <laughs> or not. Yeah, the North is gonna be a bit tricky. Whilst not strictly English, I can marry into the Welsh uh, dynasty. And I think, honestly, I might as well. Here's the general plan. Get as many kids as possible, marry into as many families as possible, and then just start murdering people. Let's see if we can sway you. Why do you hate me so much? I'm just sinful. You're a spy mo You're holding a dagger. All right, there's an alliance formed. Do any of your kids have kids? I don't think so. So if I just murder... How many... I have to murder three people. Uh, my dynasty has unlocked bounteous loins. Uh, that is very fortuitous, but I don't recall doing that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Okay, cool. I don't know if I can wait for this girl to come of age. Well, I suppose I can. That's a horrible sound clip. Are we actually married? Oh, we are married. Okay, brilliant. Well, let's start murdering. Let's murder him. Huh? You know that I killed your son. That's a shame. But I do have a 95% chance to kill you. So this is this is good. Oh, that's that's embarrassing. My collar was inside out. Oh, it's, people are gonna mock me for that. I mean, we've had a great start, but is it worth restarting just because I know people make fun of my outfit? <laughs> All right, we get a secret tunnel and 95% chance. And he's dead. Okay, it's another one done. We just need to murder two more boys and then she's in charge. What? Oh, she died in childbirth. That's not mine, is it? No, okay, good. <laughs> okay, we, we're fine. <laughs> I'm happy to murder a man, but I'm upset because I'm gluttonous. And like, he's eating food. I, I'm looking at that poisoned meat being like, ah, yeah, it could, could, could potentially taste quite nice, you know? I'm gonna create a forest of, of impaled lowlifes. Yeah, right. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm meant to be playing like a diplomacy game where I'm just trying to like sneak my way into families and instead of doing this. My son and your daughter? Yeah. Right, so now we have ties to Mercia when they come of age. So I need to make sure that they don't die. Now, one more child to go. 95% chance. I've murdered a lot of your kids, I won't lie. How many is that? One, two, three, like four of them. All right, it's 95%, so we don't really need to spend too much money to get a good outcome. And to be honest, I don't know why I have you lot. I'm never going to go to war. So, there we go. And he's dead. Right, does that leave... Yeah, another one? Oh, there's another one. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> Just murdering this entire family. It's not even England. It's Wales. 95% chance. Is he dead? He is. Okay, brilliant. Now, who's your heir? My wife. Shocking. And now for the final murder, I'm gonna get my wife in charge of Wales. This is how you, this is how CK3 was meant to be played. Man, you really hate me. Again, it's probably because I did murder your family member. That is, I can see why that would cause a bit of a rift between me and, me and my wife. <laughs> I didn't even have to kill him, he died of pneumonia. Brilliant. So my wife is now the head of, what the hell is this? My wife is in charge over here and her heir is also my son. So, uh... <laughs> Could be a good thing. Put my son in charge of Wales. Surely people get suspicious that suddenly, what? How many kids died? One, two, three, four, five, six. I killed like seven people. My son to your daughter, you would not accept. 
I have too many existing alliances and it's a patrilineal marriage. Well, I'm not going to do it matrilineally, am I? Oh, wow. Thanks for the, thanks for the extra son. Uh, kind of needed a daughter, but that's fine. That's my... So I just broke up the the, the kingdom of Gwened because of the, of the second son. Okay. Okay, this works. This works. Okay, just to, just to catch up what happened. This is my first son by my uh, wife that I just murdered. He's in control of Wales. This child here was with a different woman. But he is actually, because they have blood ties, he is the primary heir. So I'm gonna probably betroth them off to the Mercian one. When I play as this guy, I'll murder the King of Wales, and then I should have Mercia and Wales. And I'm trying to work on um, Wessex at the same time. Right, congratulations. You have 10 intrigue. Oh, for God's sake, what am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> How did you become an astute intellectual? I was educating you and I'm an indulgent wastrel. Did you get a son? You've had four daughters. Get a son so then you'll like patrilineally marry my, my son. Okay, something happened. Wessex is now independent and Hweiss is now in control of southern England. This is... Do you have anyone I can marry off? The issue is I don't have any daughters. And I'm dead. Okay. And... <laughs> um, also, my brother took half of Cornwall. So I just made my- I made myself ridiculously weak and my brother's a lot more powerful than I. I need to make myself depressed so I can kill myself. Which sounds horrible, and that's- that's because it is. How do I gain stress to kill myself? By doing things that my guy wouldn't do. Well, he's arbitrary. I, what's the opposite of arbitrary? Like, just? What if he calmly did the right thing? That would- that would cause him to kill himself. Okay, brilliant. Which child is that? How many people do I have to murder? Arrange marriage, myself, your seven-year-old daughter, and then I've just got to murder like three people. Okay, good. Oh, great. Like my father before me. Oh, I'll, I'll go and murder it. There we go, the Impaler. All right, here we go. All right, nice. And no one talked. There was a 72% chance that I was discovered, a 28% chance that I would kill them. So that's like a mild miracle. All right, now you've got sons. I've got to murder all of these sons as well. There we go, 95% chance. And she's dead. Okay, good. That's another one. God, marrying into this family is dangerous. 41% chance. Or should we start murdering this lot? Because there's a lot of people to murder. All right, I've got to murder these two children. All right, we've got to murder these two children, which uh, Alfred is third in line. So I've got to kill those two children, then him. Alfred becomes ruler of this entire region, right? That's great. Then I need to murder Alfred's three children, or two children, meaning that my wife becomes the ruler of Wessex. 53% chance. I'll murder him first. That's a good idea. We'll murder him first, and then we can go after the kids. Because a child ruler is more likely to be murdered. Just out here trying to unify the kingdoms. <laughs> Surely people tag, like, have clicked that if you marry into this family, you're going to die. And he's dead. Unifying this area. We're going to unify Wessex once more. Okay. So, to recap where we're at right now. Um, I am betrothed to this girl. Who I'm going to try and make the queen of Wessex. My brother... All right, excellent. So, with that, Alfred is the King of Wessex, and I am married to his second daughter because I've killed the other ones. I need to have a child with this woman, have that be my heir, and then murder the rest of Gwened to try and take that back. Then I need to get involved in Mercia. But so far, we're doing okay. Here we go, 66% chance, and she's dead. Right, excellent. Now, I need to leave. I don't want it to break the patrol, so I'm going to wait for this. Oh, okay. Wales has kind of been unified. And I'm the primary heir. Oh, we could bring Wales into the fold right now. Brilliant. In the meantime, my, uh, my counselors keep on just getting picked up and murdered by raiding, uh, <laughs> raiding factions. Right, we're married. Brilliant. And fingers... Are you kidding me? You had a kid in this time? Oh, I'm going to kill you for that. He's dead. Now I need to kill this kid. 95% chance. And then I think theoretically you should be second in line. You're not. What? Who are you? That's my wife. Why isn't my wife second in... I'm gonna have to kill so many more people, aren't I? Oh, did your kids have kids? <gasps> the kids had kids. I wasn't quick enough. Right. There's a lot more murdering that has to happen. So, so far, we've halved our lands instead of, you know, in conquering England. But we have... There was another kid. How do they- where are these kids coming from? They're coming out of the woodwork. I've murdered so many children. Murdering a child, are you certain about this? Absolutely. Here we go. There we go. Dead. And now we are the King of Wales. Okay. 
So that's good. Now, time to murder <laughs> all of you. Ah, well, that's not good. Let's uh, switch murder schemes real quick. So here's the thing. My murder progress is, is 59%. I'm going to give him the kingdom. And then I'm going to kill him. And then I'm going to kill his kids and take him back. We've hit a snag. <laughs> I can't fight any wars. I'm trying to avoid them as much as possible. Oh no, my spy master's dead. He was really good. And that's what you get, brother. You decided to rise up against me and I murdered you and your entire family. <laughs> this guy's actually grown into a little bit. He's not as useless as I initially thought. 95% chance and she's dead. Okay, cool. So I've, I've taken back my lands. I'm actually really enjoying this. It's definitely uh, not my usual way of playing um, Crusader Kings. I, obviously, I, I engage in a, in, a, in a healthy bit of murder because who doesn't? But not to this degree. And not fighting a single war it also has its own uh, constraints. Oh God, we've got so much left to do. <laughs> this one's off in East Anglia. <laughs> wow, that is the ugliest woman I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I didn't, I don't mean to be harsh. I really don't, but Jesus Christ. Ah, my wife is now fourth in line. Okay, this is good. We're getting there. Oh, it's a lot of death and destruction. If I get a twice scheme stuff, we could, they could do this twice as fast. Oh, a daughter. That's brilliant. Uh, also, I don't think I need these men at arms. <laughs> it's like 600 troops, but I don't need them because I never go to war. <laughs> Let's kill this kid. He's dead. But that does mean my wife is second. No, there's another child been born. All right. Let's get rid of that one. <laughs> this one-year-old child's looking at these carpets like... Nah, this seems suspicious to me. Okay, so they know that I killed the child. Oh dear. But, more importantly, I believe that makes you second in line. It does, and my sons are third and fourth in line. Okay. Twice scheme. Brilliant. So we can get two murder schemes going on at the same time. All right, let's murder you. <laughs> How many people have I killed? Quite a few. Most of them children. I am uniting England, though. I'm fulfilling your dream, Alfred. You should be happy. All right, fingers crossed, 81% chance. Yep, brilliant. Okay, good. Okay, let's get rid of this. At least he didn't know it was me that tried to kill him. Well, I assume people, every time someone is dead on the street, they just assume it was me at this point. And it wouldn't even be that wrong. There we go, dead. And now it should be, who's the heir? Who's the heir? My wife is the heir, brilliant, okay. Can I murder Alfred? 56% chance, here we go. Pay 150, worth it to kill Alfred. And it's, oh, wait. Who are you? Did I just kill Al Alfred? Oh, he drank himself to death, so I didn't even have to do it. But he had his son beforehand. Man, it's really important you have arbitrary, otherwise you'd be dead from all the stress of murdering these children. Oh god, my spy master's dead. Right, murder the child. It's dead. Does that mean my wife sits upon the throne? It does. Which means my player heir is the heir to Wessex. So let's murder my wife. She served me well. She also hates me because I murdered her family. Here we go. Ah, goodbye, my wife. What the hell happened here? Okay, my sons now control uh, Wessex and Southern England, but it got split between them. All right, so one of them has revealed that it was me that did it, which cannot be a shock at this point. Oh my God, we took over Nor <laughs> Normandy as, as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Brilliant. And this one is also dead, which puts the heir as the betrothed. He's become of age. They're married. All right, this is good. And now I just need to murder you. This woman has been supporting all of my schemes over here. A round of applause for Reeve Hungifu of Papua. 86% <laughs> chance. He's dead. And my daughter-in-law, who is married to my son. All right, go have a kid. Oh, brilliant. One of them's been slain in a duel. That's the second son he's had that's been, sell been slain in a duel. Okay. I, just, I spend so much money on murdering people instead of, you know, improving the lives of my vassals. And Leofrich is dead. Oh god, she's pregnant. Look, I'm helping you, son. Don't worry about it. 95% chance, and she managed to get around it. All right, well, I guess we're going again. All right, there's the King of Mercia dead. All right, I'm back after having a spot of lunch, uh, and I ended up drinking a lot of pineapple juice. It tasted a little bit off and like a little bit sour and I looked at it and uh, it turns out it went off about two months ago. So I am in for a world of pain. So I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible before I die. Honestly, I think the best thing I can do is die. How do I kill myself? All right, let's murder this child. She's dead. 
Does he not have an heir? Okay, right. It's this woman now. Wife of that Earl. Okay, let's keep murdering that. Then who's in line for the throne? I think you, you think eventually I'll have someone. I have to murder the entirety of Ireland, aren't I? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's where Mercia gets his Irish roots from. Northern Ireland. Jesus Christ. Right, well. All right, looks like these are going to fire off at the same time. All right, 95% chance and 75% chance. He's dead. She's dead. Okay, let's see if we can intercut the uh, succession somewhere here. You're a high, you're high chief death of the Isles. I'm probably not going to be able to marry you. Um, hmm. Okay. I can get one of my sons married off. Oh, he's the petty king of East Anglia, and I've got him married to the granddaughter of someone who is actually currently the heir to Mercia. So I might have just unified a lot of different things there. Again, I'm just murdering right now just because it feels like the right thing to do. I don't know what else to do with my time. Oh, you're, you're betrothed to the- you're a vassal now. That's fine. That's good. I'm, I'm happy that you're a vassal of my other son. I'm still trying to murder myself. I'm trying to get as many mental breaks as possible. I need to die. Oh, for God's sake. All right, they've discovered the plots. This has happened a lot recently. It's never happened with the father. I don't know why this kid needs to die. <laughs> he just did, though. Okay, I need to I need to calm down. How many men has this man killed? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this woman. Right, so now you only have one wife. Like a good Christian man. <laughs> no secondary spouses. Are you pregnant yet? You are brilliant. Please be a boy. Oh, it's a daughter. Yeah, that's a shame. But that means if we murder everyone, then our granddaughter's on the, in line for the throne of Munster. This is this is a ridiculous way of playing this game. It's amazing. I can I can make Cain this random dude. I can just make pretend he's my son. That's really funny. Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. So now we're in charge of this area. Right. First things first. We're going intrigue, obviously. <laughs> Okay, and our son is the king of East Anglia. Okay, this works well. Still betrothed to this dude. Still in line for the throne of mercy. Okay, that's all good. Now, we are going to have to murder this man. Oh God, there's no murder. There's, uh, there's only 21% chance of murdering. I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit. Patience, good, but you are a craven. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Why are you useless? 95% chance to kill my brother. As it should be. And now, oh, for God's sake, there's lots of little claimants. I might have just lost Wales. Well, Wales was never what I wanted anyway. I wanted this area. Yes, keep deceitful. I don't know who you are, but it's a good idea. It's gotten me through a lot of issues. Because of all the murder, I've not had to deal with any sort of uprisings because I was too scared. All right, let's kill this child. My niece, she's dead. He's a, pretty, he's a brilliant strategist and a holy warrior. Okay, and he's craven. All right. Well, it's not horrible. It is horrible for what I'm trying to do. We don't really need warriors in this family. I've got to murder this kid first. Huh. 95% chance that I failed. All right. This is rapidly deteriorating. Come on. Murder child. Child is dead. I've gained another stress level. I don't want to die too, too quickly. Okay. How far in line am I? Like one, one or two more. Okay, this is good. Okay. The scheme was exposed, but we can still murder them. Dead child! Right. We've inherited this area. Brilliant. Let's give Gloucester off to our son. Huh, this could work. Oh, I just made everything a lot worse. Okay, well, so I suppose it's just murder. <laughs> Murdering some more. All right, I mean, it's been exposed, but it doesn't matter. Surely. Here we go, 95, and he's dead. Okay, cool. So we now have control of most of England and Mercia's up there. Okay. Ah, come on. Right, we're so close to having most of England. We just got to murder like two more children. Bad omen. <laughs> oh no. The poor two-year-old boy it spends many sleepless nights worrying. Oh, brilliant, they know it was me. <sighs> yeah, it was me. whoop to do. God, you'd need a better spy master, man. This one keeps on just letting me murder him. <laughs> the third impaler. Brilliant. And now the primary heir should be my wife and we can murder this man happily. This is it. It all comes down to this. And oh God, the spy master once more. Really need to get a hold of the spy master. Here we go. Is he dead? It is. All right. And my wife is now in charge. Okay. I need a child now. Need a son. And then I can unify Mercia and Cornwall. 
Nope, nope. I do not have anything to worry about. I'm definitely the father. It does not matter, actually. I just... Lineage-wise, I just need the people to think that I'm the father. That's all that matters. She doesn't have another quick killer before before people can understand that she might have given birth to a son that isn't mine. And she's dead. Right, my son is now the king of Mercia. No, I need to die. I do have a chance to get a, a guy in Brittany as well. This man's so useless. He's got nine intrigue. <laughs> Thousand ducats, but nine intrigue. Why is my son wounded? <laughs> Someone tried to kill my son? Yes, Critical's Crest. Damn it. He abdicated. Oh my god. I can create the Kingdom of England. Oh. It actually... Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I actually did it. I actually did it. Oh, I was thinking I was going to have to clickbait the hell out of this title, but we actually, actually did it. Without declaring a single war, starting as Cornwall, we have formed the Kingdom of England. That's incredible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's exactly where we'll leave it here today. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. I didn't expect it to go as well as it did. That was a lot of fun, and I highly recommend you try out things like that in CK3. It's a, it's a great game for it. If you want to see similar things to this, then do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'd like to hear any sort of suggestions you guys have. Like I said before, we're starting to play uh, a couple of different kinds of games on this channel. So it'd be great if you guys go and check that out and give us any sort of feedback. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. Jay Erickson321, Shadowsinger, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.